Let's talk about data handling in Hydrogen. Data loading strategies can make or break your application. Take this product details page example. We're fetching a product title and description on the server in the loader. Thinking about everything we might want on the page, we'll obviously need the basic information like the title and description. We'll want a few images. I guess we also want the price and availability. And it'd be nice to show a list of recommended products. The other piece to consider is if the product's already in the cart, we probably want to render the page differently. So we'll need cart information too. Putting this all together, the query is going to look something like this, and it starts to get out of hand. The response is going to be huge. So to improve performance, we can cache the response. This is much faster, but there's an issue here. There's personalized data in our query. Everyone's going to receive the same copy of the cart because it's cached. But if we don't cache it at all, then we get a performance hit. So how do we get around this? Let's split the request into two. Up the top here, we fetch product details and cache heavily. Down the bottom, we're fetching the cart with cache none. This is much better, but we still face another issue. Product availability and price should really remain fresh. Let's divide once more. Okay, now we've divided the initial query into three parts, each with its own caching strategy. The product, availability, and cart. But we've created a request waterfall, where each request is made one after the other. We should really execute these simultaneously. We can do this with promise.all. By leveraging caching and parallel data loading, our page should be much faster, but we can still squeeze out a little more performance. Recommended products aren't essential, and if they fail to load or they're slow, we still want a fully functional product page. So let's defer loading the product recommendations and also the cart. Notice we don't await these queries. Instead of awaiting the recommended products in the cart, we pass them to defer. This will stream those promises over the network to the browser. And then we can access these promises from within the component. As an example, I've got the title and description rendering here. For the recommended products, we'll wrap them in React's suspense component. And this displays a fallback or a loading state while the recommended products are loading. So we'll see the primary data load first and then a loading state for the recommended products. It's important to note the page is completely interactive at this point. And now we can use a wait from Remix to resolve the promises. It's tempting to defer everything on a page, but this is usually a bad decision. By deferring data, the time to first byte improves, but the user's shown a bunch of pending interfaces, which they can't interact with. And it causes jank when the page does load. It's usually better just to show the customer immediately actionable content, which is a good reason to await primary data and only defer secondary data. You can see this example in detail in the Hydrogen blog.